Hey guys, uh, Chris back from CNH and Mullins again for another uh, tech tip uh, video here today. This will be a short video here, probably about two or three minutes long. Uh, one of the biggest things uh, we have people ever ask about is, uh, they, they ask us, why is my machine smoking or hard starting or something like that? And uh, this, this machine right here is a prime example I'm talking about right here. This is a Husqvarna oil drive machine. Uh, this machine is a 2000 or 20, uh, 2015 to be uh, precise. It's an all-wheel drive Husqvarna machine with a uh, Briggs & Stratton over at Valve new generation engine on here. This is the uh, 625 EX series Briggs & Stratton engine. And as you see in the front of the engine on here, guys, uh, he has a hell of a lot of um, uh, carbon on the front covering right here. See all this carbon buildup right here? It's coming out of the exhaust, stuff like that. And it, it's basically blowing up on the front of the all-wheel drive housing, uh, you know, cover unit thing with a jig right here for that. And the reason why he was having problems with this machine was because, uh, simply put, uh, the customer uh, failed in his duty to uh, do any kind of uh, routine maintenance on the machine right here for reference points. Uh, the guy bought it, I think, back in 2015. And he did zero maintenance to the machine at all. And I say zero because we have the proof over here for that. Uh, what we have over here on the opposite side of the engine, we have the air filter. And this guy used, used this machine at least... Uh, once or twice a month right here and the air filter is absolutely packed full of crap guys this is no joke this is the oem air filter but it still has the, it still has the um uh, briggs logo right here on it for reference points it has the briggs stratton uh logo you can probably barely see it, but it is definitely there briggs stratton the diamond logo and the air filter uh, along with spark plug is also uh black on here as well too spark plug this is one of their better uh, champion plug got the uh, gold gold tip one on here for that and that's an RC 12 YC and as you see the air filler as well too it's totally packed with crap and your engine is having a hell of a hell it's basically having a hell of a time trying to breathe right there for that because if you restrict the airflow in the engine on here it's going to cause other problems with the machine mainly your spark plug is going to start fouling out you're going to have a lot of uh, black you know like a carbon build up on your covering right here you have a lot of carbon build up coming out of your muffler right there because the engine is choking itself right there and your oil is also going to be black too as well too so this is what the oil looks like right here it's totally black guy this is no joke this is what the oil look like i had to change it out at least twice in this machine already and it's still coming out pretty pretty black right now for reference points so that's what your oil looks like after not having it changed in like four and a half five years guys so uh that's one of the biggest uh, complaints we have over here like people says my machine won't stay running my, my machine won't uh start up guys and um this is what happens when you do not do any kind of maintenance to your machine so please 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 uh read your owner's mail and looking at the back of the book because it'll have all the specifications you need for your specific machine. Uh, this one right here, it has the Briggs uh, and Stratton over at Valve New Generation Engine. And I was even told by uh, people uh, who actually brought their machine to us that uh, they were told by their dealer where they actually purchased the machine. All you have to do is just uh, add the oil to the machine and you don't have to change it ever out there. So uh, that's a big misnomer right there, guys. You do need to change the oil at least once a season out there more uh, more if you're going to be using it quite frequently out there and uh, just use some kind of a high synthetic or high quality synthetic oil or some kind of a dyno you know like a synthetic blend as long as it's rated with like an sn plus rating out there it should be perfectly fine and uh, the machine should be uh, running optimally in uh using in you know just keep the air filter maintained keep the spark plug keep the oil changes out there and, and that's basically half the battle right there as long as you don't hit something in your yard out there uh you know just running around like i hit a pipe or a root or a stump or something out there, out there as long as you keep the engine running and you keep the rest of the machine you know looking relatively good out there you shouldn't have any kind of problems with the machine and as long as you like the other thing is don't don't loan out the machine don't, don't loan your machine out to some kind of neighbor or a friend or something because i had horror stories where people would bring me their machine they would loan their cousin or brother-in-law out there and the cousin and brother-in-law would bring the thing back about a week later and the thing was either broken pieces or the blade looked like an l shape out there for that so if you want to keep your machine for like 10 or 15 years at least out there uh, maintain the machine according to what the owner's mail recommends and do not and i repeat do not loan your machine out to some guy who might be your friend or your even, or even your family member guys because uh that's bad uh news waiting to happen right there for that so that's everything i can probably tell you about why your machine 
maybe causing like a hard start situation as this one right here was. Uh, this guy, like I said before, did not do any kind of maintenance to it. Air filter was totally plugged. He had a tons of carbon coming out of the exhaust right here. And that's one of the biggest uh, things we see with like lack of maintenance, no maintenance on your machines. Like why, why is my machine blowing that black smoke? Well, this is why, guys, that your machine did not have any kind of maintenance done to it in five years. And the air filter was totally plugged spark plug is totally black and your oil is almost black as sin basically black as coal and uh, all that stuff could been could have been prevented if the customer simply followed our advice uh, after they purchased the machine back in 20 um, i think 2015 like i said before because uh they they um they called me up i think 2015 but uh, they never actually brought the machine down to us because they said they had like a couple backups at their house and they just wanted to you know just keep on running one over and over and over again out there and they didn't really care about uh, you know doing you know any kind of serious maintenance so this is what happens after you know four and a half five years of lack of maintenance guys so anybody has any comments questions whatnot uh, feel free to leave me a message here and i'll try to get back as soon as i possibly can about uh, this machine or general repairs or you know typical service for your machine as well too guys I'll see you. Have a nice day.